but I'm continuing some of my digging to my electronic power steering issues. Um, replaced the rack already, still having problems. It's uh, just intermittent. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. And so what we're looking at now is just making sure everything is cleared out. So we've got all of the codes cleared. I've gone through um, the reconfigure on the SCCM and the power steering control module. The SCCM is the thing for like the clock spring and the uh, turn signals and all that kind of stuff. So all that stuff has been reset. Um, then inside here, I did reset the power steering control module um, to match the truck whenever we replace that. Also did the over the air update too to make sure that was correct. So that's kind of what we're uh, what we're looking at right now. I'm gonna since I've reset everything, I'm going to go ahead and do a test real quick. Of course, we'll probably come up with no faults. So we need to be a key on engine running for our power steering control module test. Looks like what we have a component internal failure is what we have right now. Power steering is working at the moment. Okay, let's go to SCCM on demand test. See what the requirements are on for that. Truck doesn't need to be running, so we can just key on for that one. The only reason I want to do this is because, or just in case it may have something to do with the steering angle sensor. And I know that um, that module was, was actually replaced before I bought the truck because it was having wiper blade and turn signal issues. Okay, so no errors in the SCCM, that's good. Now if we go to our DTCs and scan it again, we should see, yep, there we go. Now we have a, that same code, internal failure U300 for the power steering control module, and we have overheat sensor. So that's uh, today, right now when that thing failed. So it's interesting because this is the exact same code that I had before, uh, before I replaced the power steering rack. And I looked all over, I checked the wiring harness, I checked everything that I could think of because I did not want to replace the rack because it isn't cheap. And um, came to the conclusion that that there was bad. Um, it's interesting because if you go into the scope and you want to start a data log, um, the problem that I ended up seeing was the temperature sure enough just like we have an over temperature code um, so let's go in here go to power steering control module I already have all the parameters set over there to monitor everything on the entire setup here let's go ahead and uh, log all right so this is the number that I'm having a problem with this is our internal temperature see that right there power steering control module internal temp my original one would start out low, somewhere in the 50s or maybe lower. No, actually, I think in the 30s, possibly. And it would slowly work its way up. It would kind of stay at 50 or 60. And all of a sudden, it would start spiking really quickly uh, to like 150. And that's when the system shuts off. You have no power steering. It's a uh, overheat protection. So this one just pretty much says 60 all the time. Um, and as you drive, it will um, just randomly spike up to 150. And then the power steering cuts off. You could be driving on the highway. You could just be sitting still. It really doesn't make a difference, it seems like. Um, it does seem like maybe it is when the truck is warmed up, but I'm not 100% sure. Everything else is working properly, though. You can see the steering angle is working correctly. The uh, torque sensor is reading. Let's go ahead and start it up. You can see our supply voltage down there is good. And then you can watch the current. Current draw is good. There had never been any current spikes. Um, I've done a few data logs where I had the failure and where I didn't have the failure. And I've compared the logs. And so far, the only thing I can find out is just whatever this temperature is. I don't know if um, that's a sensor, if that's 
how that's controlled if it's a thermistor um, measuring like a, a MOSFET or something. I'm not exactly sure how that's measured, but I think if I could figure that out, then I could more accurately um, dive into this problem. So I would love to have any input if you guys know how this works or where I should look next. I don't know if the power steering control module communicates straight to the body control module or the ECU or what the deal is, but this number right here spiking to 150 is my has been my problem.